What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. That is my precious little daughter, Aria. And today is our first father-daughter fishing day. It's gonna go down in history. December 5th, 2018 is a special, special day. Right off the bat, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off trolling just a little swim bait. Now, I don't care if we catch anything or not on it, but I'm going back in the river, so we might as well troll something along the way. Reel it in. Reel. Reel. Reel, reel, reel. Fast as you can. Woo! Reel. Reel, reel, reel. Okay, so what you want to do is pull back on that rod. Reel down. Pull back. Reel down. That is a swim bait that we found while I was in the Chattahoochee River with the Almighty. And that is Aria's first bluefish. We are cooking that sucker. It's always good just to bleed out a bluefish whenever you're gonna cook it. Oh yeah, get them like that. Wash it off. There, that fit is. All right, what do you think, honey? Are you wanna eat that fish? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, you know what time it is. There's that beautiful blue fish. How many of you have ever eaten one of those little guys right there? Well, most people think they're not very good. I'm here to change your mind today, but check this out. Check this out. Y'all said you wanted it. There it is. That's the big old monster cutting board, but I don't need that big of a cutting board right now. I just need that big, so. Perfect. There'll be a link in the description below to that. That's gonna be an exclusive deer meat for dinner product right there because I love that. It's big enough to like do a ton of stuff on it, but you can fold it up where it's small. It's non-stick and it's awesome. Let's clean this fish. Make a nice cut right there. Follow that backbone right down. Turn your knife around. Follow the backbone. Man, look how pretty that meat is, y'all. That's a gorgeous fillet. Let's zoom in a little bit. Same thing. Turn that rascal over. Cut, make sure you cut up into the head. Follow your backbone. I love that rounded tip. A lot of times I'll pull them around, flip them around. And that allows the knife just to roll right over the back bones. You're left with a gorgeous fillet. 
now. Take your knife. There you go. Try not to cut so incredibly close to the skin when you're doing a bluefish because they're quite bloody. Notice, see how here I left the blood on the skin. I got a little too close there, and that's what it'll look like. See that? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim that out. So what I'm trying to get rid of is that, that dark red bloodline. Take that knife. There's a bone right there, so we're gonna get rid of that. You could, if you wanted to, to come in here and just fillet that off like that, but I'm not going to get too picky. It's This fish is so incredibly fresh, it's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's me when I was a baby, when I was a little boy. Aria, look. You know what that is? That's the fish that you caught today. This is your fish. We're gonna cook it up. Yeah, it's a blue fish. Baby. It's a baby blue fish, good job. Hey, Em. Hey, Emma. All right, time to cook, y'all. Sarah is giving the girls a bath, and I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil on our fish. Just roll it around in olive oil. Give it a nice little glisten. Take a little bit of Everglades Original. We're also going to add some black pepper. Here's a great thing about this cutting board. I just cut fish on this side, flip it over, wham! Nope. There you go. Now I'm ready to cut vegetables on that side. We're just going to take these potatoes and cut them in fourths, just like that. If they're little baby, really babies, just cut them in half. That's all you gotta do. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? Oh, I miss you. Where, where are you coming from? Hey, I think he smelled fresh fish cooking. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, what's uh, what you cooking for dinner tonight? Yep, drive down the road. I'm like, kind of hungry. I'm not gonna make it home in time for dinner. I'm like, hmm, I think I'll make a pit stop here. <laughs> and Jupiter. My good bro, Clinton Beal, was just in Greece hunting ibex and you guys gave him some olive oil to give to me. Now, I'm gonna try the olive oil, but next year I hope to try the Ibex. It's pretty cool. They actually grow the olives and make the olive oil right there at their place, and next year I hope to get to see it. Take all your diced potatoes, slide them under there. Oh yeah. And now we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of this lovely olive oil right on top. Just a little dust of Everglades. And heck, why not? Some fresh cracked fresh crack pepper. Throw them suckers in the oven. Lovely. That's fresh ginger root. It took me a long time to even figure out how to prepare ginger. All you're doing is skinning it.
garlic, scallion, ginger. Take that. How does that smell? Tricolor peppers, there's red, yellow, green peppers in there. Mushrooms. I am a huge, huge fan of basil. In the pot. Flavor still in the pan. Everybody's starting to show up. That means it must be close to dinner time. So that's about three quarters of the way done. I'll take it and just set them right in there. Look at that child. She loves her lovies. Was that like a little head on? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. A little bit of spinach. Throw some shrimp on there. Piece of bluefish. And put some of that love and goodness right on top. That right there is a meal fit for a king. Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you for my precious family and all my good friends. Thank you for this fish and all this great food. Please nourish it to our body. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. All right, y'all. So that's what it looks like. We've got the fish with the, all the peppers and scallions and mushrooms and all that love and goodness. Roasted potatoes, spinach, corn. I mean, looks good to me. Hey, baby, you want some fish? I don't know what people talk about bluefish because this is, this is great. Do people normally throw them back? Yeah, most people don't eat bluefish. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea what's wrong with them. No, I think it's good. It's very good. Try your fish, baby. It is nothing like what they say it is. Yeah. At all. I didn't realize people didn't eat people. Towel. I mean, even Towel. It's not even as dark as they say it is. The key is bleeding them out as soon as you catch them and icing them down properly. That is the key. I always believe that. If you don't ice them down, they'll get mushy and nasty. Yeah. If you don't bleed them out, they're gonna have a strong flavor. All right, you guys, so that's it. Tonight was a huge success. Today was awesome, and tomorrow's gonna be even better. But for now, we are.